Hi, I'm Taylor Sproul. And I'm Liz June. And this is Meat. Meat. Today, we've got a fun episode for you. Yeah. We're going to make Pim's Cups. Plurals. <laughs> many of them. Yes. Because there's many different ways to do them. I know how I was taught how to make it, and I've encountered it various ways. But obviously, this isn't going to be like a taste test to choose which one is best, because that is up to your palate and nobody else's. But we're going to make three of the common interpretations of the Pimps Cup and just see what we like personally. Yeah. All right, so let's get to it. The basic ingredients to a Pimps that we can universally agree on are Pimps. Pimps. And ice. That's kind of it. Yeah. Uh, and then something in a three to one proportion to top it. So the three things we're gonna try, uh, spray, I guess the American classic is made with spray. Sure. The, the New Orleans classic. We're gonna try one with ginger beer. Ginger beer and ginger ale come up a lot too in like, I think this is still kind of an American interpretation of it. And then the, the lemonade, which is standard in the recipe that's prevalent in the UK, is referring to like a sparkling lemonade. So mm -hmm. what I've made is like an equal parts lemon and simple syrup, lemonade syrup, and we're just gonna mix it with some soda water to make a sparkling lemonade element. We're gonna mix those three parts topper, one part pins in our wine glasses here. Magic ice! To each one, we're gonna add their kind of big glasses. I'm gonna do two ounces of pins. Usually it's like two ounce, like one and a half to two ounces of pins to uh, like five to six ounces of topper. All right, there's math in there. To the one that I'm gonna make my sparkling lemonade, I'm just gonna add two ounces of my uh, lemon simple syrup mix. If you just had a sparkling lemonade, like I think Trader Joe's has one. Yeah, great. I think they're made. Yeah, that's the one we're gonna just top with soda. Oh, we've got our three iterations. This is not the finished product. Usually, the in next important step is some combination of fruit, but we're gonna stop here just to see. Just the Pim's liqueur with a base. What tastes nice to us? Okay. Oh, that's nice. I want to try it over here. Ginger beer. I like this one so far. Excuse me. Thank you. What was your favorite? My favorite was actually the fresh lemonade, sparkling lemonade with the pims. I taste more pims in that. Like there's more room to taste the herbal and spice and fruit elements of the pims because there's not a lot of sweetness going on, you know? Okay. And also the citric acid is kind of opening up my palate. That's how mm -hmm. I feel. A second to that, I like the ginger beer a lot. And actually, even though it's the it's the New Orleans standard, I, I think I like the Sprite the least. But lemonade one is my second favorite. I like the ginger beer one the best, but that's because I really like ginger beer. It is really nice with the ginger beer. Yeah, I liked this one too. It's just it happens to be the one I like the least. They're all they're all tasty. This tastes great, but it's because it tastes a lot like ginger beer. It's definitely the sweetest, I think. Yeah, this one tastes like soda. Like a it kind of tastes like a cola. But... It has those herbal elements, it has those spice elements. It does taste a little like a cola. It does actually, now that you say that, it has a weird like Cola or almost Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Like it has that flavor to it. So that's the way it interacts. Whereas this, the ginger really takes lead. I'm always a fan of citric acid in cocktails. I think just citrus opens things up. So yeah. I think that's why I like this one. Mm -hmm. It tastes, but it also tastes more like what I'm used to. So it could also be that. True. Traditional additives to this. A Pim's cup is not complete without some element of fruit and vegetable herbal garnish. Some people say, you know, cucumber and mint are standard, berries are standard, like orange slices, lemon slices, it's gotta be strawberry specifically, lovage, like weird, you know, like not mint, lovage is the right thing to use. I, you know, it's all, it can really be a lot of things, but um, so I think we just kind of play around. So we've got red raspberries, blackberries, mint, strawberries, orange, lemon, cucumber. On top of that, some of the recipes I saw throw some bitters in there. Some throw a little extra gin in there. 
Oh. Uh, so I also pulled out some berries and jams. So let's each take point on our favorite and then we'll decide to do it better together. How about that? That sounds good. Now, I have less ideas for this one because it just tastes like ginger beer. <laughs> so since mine, it already has a good amount of acid in it, I'm gonna avoid the lemons and oranges. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna go like, I want some vegetable qualities in there. I definitely, I also just like cucumber. In the Cucumbers are great. I'm gonna do some strawberries for sure. Oh, I like that. that the pink and green, that color combo. I'm gonna do a big old sprig of mint. I knew you were gonna do mint oh, in yeah. there. Oh yeah. Slap it. Mm, I'm gonna throw some mango in there because I don't have a lot of spice going on. Now obviously adding some fruit in there isn't gonna immediately impact the flavor. It's gonna kind of sit. I still think that tastes really nice. It does taste a little different. Oh, all right. I like that. I think the bitters really open it up too. Now I will say the way that I was taught to make a pinch cup uh, the first time was to make like a uh, two one one pims to lemon to sugar in a cocktail shaker, so like a sour bill, okay. and put your cucumber and mint in the shaker. Mm -hmm. So you shake it all together, strain that into your drink, and then top it with soda and ginger ale. Oh, okay. That's, and then you add more mint and you add more cucumber, but then you get the incorporated flavors of mint and cucumber muddled in there. It's, I think that's away from the the spirit of the Pim's Cup, which is sort of just a build it in a glass and you're done. But I do I do think that that makes a good Pim's Cup. So I feel like I want to... Oh, taste for that. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, this is ginger beer. It's very spice forward. I want to add citrus and a little bit of sweet. So I'm going to go for some blackberries. And I feel like I want to stab them a little bit. I think you could stab them a little bit. I'm trying to stab them a little bit. They're very elusive. Yeah. Ideally, you would, when you're building these drinks, you would add the fruit first, but we wanted to have that straight up taste test. Mm -hmm. If you're making these at home, you can add your fruit first, kind of give it a breakdown, you know, then add the ingredients. So I'm going to go for the lemon. And I kind of want to add a little gin. Add some gin, yeah. I mean, that, well, I should actually say how I was taught also was to add like an ounce of gin to, it was equal parts gin and pins. Now I think it's better to have a bigger pour of pins, but because right now, like what this is, I mean, this is a very low proof cocktail. Like pins is 25% alcohol by volume. So that's in line with your like standard liqueurs. To put that in, as the base of your drink, you're not getting a lot of alcohol. Whoop. Turn that up a little bit and try it out. Now I want more gin in mine. Hmm. Well, it doesn't taste like ginger beer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> does it taste like a cocktail? It does taste like a cocktail. Oh, that's nice. Yeah? Damn. All right. That's really nice. Especially the ginger beer that I bought is like the extra super ginger ginger beer. And that's how I like it. It was that's good, but you really it, you did kind of tame that because that citrus really opens it up. That ounce of gin gives like it brings a nice bright kind of like mm -hmm. floral quality to it. It is very counter to the ginger. There's no wrong great. answers here. <laughs> uh, well, for the last one, we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna see up the sprite. Yeah. Bit of rush. So what are you thinking? I don't know, orange. I would, I would say, because I think it still need, needs acid, but mm -hmm. the oranges are going to give it some acid. See that? Let's put, that, put those there oranges in there. There are some oranges in there. And I think because that one plays so sweet, maybe we can double that up with some orange bitters. Yeah. What have we used yet? Uh, just those guys. I feel like we should. I guess we should throw some in for good measure, because it's pretty. It's pretty. There's a lot of stuff in this cup now. Somebody from the UK was describing a lot of times you get them in a, in like a pitcher of Pim's cup. So like as long as you have liquid that can cover the fruit, you can keep adding fruit. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I think that's an improvement. It doesn't taste like cola anymore. It might taste better with mint. Oh, but I do like that a lot. The thing with the Sprite is it's really it's offering minimal lemon lime. It's mainly just sweetness mm -hmm. and like m way less flavor than both the ginger beer or the lemonade's offering. So all it really did was open up the pims, but the pims has a lot of those deep herbal cola kind of chocolatey almost notes mm -hmm. that I think makes a lot of sense with just going heavy orange and citrus on this. And that's why that flavor combination that I'm getting there is that same like a little savory, but a little yeah. citrusy 
like not quite not quite chocolate and orange but kind of approaching that yeah. like deep herbal and orange which works really well together mm -hmm. that makes sense too because raspberries are such a natural pairing with that same like bitter chocolate flavor oh yeah that's right well i guess we did it we made three very different pims cups we're at the end of the summer months it'll be warm for a while because you know climate change but if you're looking for a, a cool like way to have cocktails present at like a party but also not spend a ton of money, uh, this is a great idea for like have a Pims bar. You get a bottle or two of Pims, which is very affordable. Have some fruit, have some vegetable, have some herbs, have you know some lemonade, some soda, some ginger beer, ginger ale, Sprite. Like just let people do their own thing. Yes, I love it. I'm a huge fan of this this concept. You can also just throw some tonic on there too and have like a Pim's Cup slash tonic bar because oh, okay. it's really popular in the UK. It's becoming more popular and prevalent in America. Like mm -hmm. when you order gin and tonic, you just get like, it's just gin and tonic, but then it's got all of this fruit and and herbs and stuff sticking out of it. So yeah, I think you could have, you could have a really cool like, cheap and affordable party bar that is just about you can have gin and tonic you can have pimp's cup there's yeah. lots of room in between make sure you get tongs for all the fruit yeah yeah and hand sanitizer yeah on standby. Uh, uh, well, yeah maybe not right now maybe, maybe, not. maybe in the future you might be in a country that is contained your coronavirus and so you can you can foresee a future where you can be in places and touch things uh, i don't know what that's like but you can have this idea for the places that can use it. Yeah, <laughs> or have it with your your pod. Have a have your a pre -approved pre -approved cup people. bar with your pod. <sighs> this has been a Pim's Cup experiment, and thank you so much for joining us. Specifically, if you are from the UK and you have a very specific opinion about what a Pim's Cup is, please feel free to e email us and share that because. Yeah. This is how I understand it, but I know it's a more history to, and like, it's a cocktail that's been present in your culture a lot longer than it's been in mine, even though we've tried to claim it. So if you've got a personal favorite, I would love to know it. Yeah, hit us up. At Twitter and Instagram is at NeatBoozeCast. Let us know about it. Leave us a comment, like, subscribe. I've been Taylor Smrow. And I've been Liz Doom. And this has been Neat. Neat. All right.